because usually mm -hmm. when I cook, I use the, the seasonings in the in the bottles, you know. So I decided this time I'm going to do something different, um, and I'm going to use real garlic. I'm going to use real onions. I'm going to use real peppers. <laughs> and <laughs> to kind of paint this for you, my wife is going out, and so she's about to walk out the door. She stops by and looks at the crock pot and goes, what the hell? And I say what? <laughs> She's like, that is, that's not how you do it. I'm like, what are you talking about? So I had cut the onion in half. Okay. Put it, <laughs> this is going bad already, right? I cut the peppers in half. <laughs> she picks up the peppers. And is like, wait a minute, this seed's still in here. I'm like, and. <laughs> So she's got to stop, <laughs> cut these peppers up properly, cut the onions up properly. Yeah, stay in your lane. You, so it sounds like you you decided you're going to be a real chef and try to use all these real ingredients. <laughs> those those cans of powder and stuff like that, they're for people like us. <laughs> here's the That's thing. That's what it's made for. <laughs> I'm doing beef tips today. And so after seeing how she did it that time, now I've cut them up properly. I will be honest. I kept the same onion because uh, we only used half the onion she used last time. I froze the onion last week, so I have it. And I just put that in there. So I'm using that this time. Um, but yes, I cut up the peppers. Now that I know to do it properly. It's okay. You can show me. I'm, I'm not yeah. afraid to say I don't know. I'm, I was, I'm the guy that when we used to have to stop and ask for directions, I'd stop at the gas station, ask, hey, how do you get to such and such? And they would tell me I'd get in the car, drive to the next gas station, make sure that jackass knew what they were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but, but hold on. Can, can we go back a second? Did you say that you used half the onion, froze the other half? Yeah. And then took that out. Why would you freeze the onion? Well, I mean, you know, just in case it, it wasn't going to use it in a week, I didn't want it to go bad in the in the fridge. Mm. What? Mm, 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 mm. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> There's some people who agree with me on this one, and, and I'm not the only one, right? So what? I've never heard of cutting a ve cutting a, a vegetable and then freezing it and then using it again a few days later. It's an I onion. Just... You're not going to eat it. It's for flavor. Okay. We can <laughs> agree to disagree. Ingredients. All the years I worked in the restaurant industry, I never froze produce. So, <laughs> you know, and, and you know, 14 years in the restaurant industry, not once did I have produce in the freezer. But you might know something that I don't know. So. Oh, well, hell, it was Applebee's. I mean, we're not going to say anything about that. <laughs> it's not like it was gourmet food, all right? <laughs> but it was fresh produce. I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 